I talked with Bill. We are about Bill about this, and next week we have a special. Oh, we didn't turn that on. Is the camera on? Awesome. Next week we have a special guest coming. His name is Lanny Johnson from Discover Creation. And they are going to talk about some of the basics of design. We're going to have a Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. where we're going to see design in animals. We're most likely going to have a puppet show for the kids, but it's for everybody. So I'm inviting everybody to come early. Oh, wait. I know some of you come at 10.32. I'm asking you to come next week at 9.25. Nah, that's a whole hour and seven minutes early so that you can participate in the Sunday school portion of this seminar. And we're going to have it in here, depending on, well, we're going to have it in here, okay? So I don't want to be embarrassed and have six people scattered around. It'd be great if everyone is here to support Lanny. Then the next message will come, and that is going to be uh, the hand of God, how we're going to see the hand of God in creation and it should be a great seminar. Bill is so giddy. He, I mean, Bill doesn't get giddy, all right? But he's been giddy about this seminar. And I want to have all of you come, please, and listen and support this. And all of you at home sitting in the comfort of your computer screens, please come and visit us. So with that in mind, this morning... Before we get back into the book of Mark and then have another interruption, I mean, we've had Christmas and all holiday and New Year's and we're starting the book of Mark and we're going to finish the book of Mark. <laughs> Molly passed out in the back the week after next week's seminar and we're going to roll right on through and if I time it right, we'll be done by summer. We will only have been in the book of Mark for four years, okay? Four short years so praise God that we spend time in his word. Amen. So today, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give you an introduction to a video. Bill, I told Bill I was going to do a, a half an hour talk on the whole evolution creationism debate covering the Scopes trial and the prejudice in school. And I couldn't do it. I researched and I researched. I go, it's, you, can't, you can't cover that much. And... What I realized is I already have all this on a DVD. And those DVDs are on the back. And this is called Evolution Versus God. And it gives you everything you need to know in a very informative and fun way as Ray Comfort interviews people on the street and four evolutionary biologists about the subject of evolution and intelligent design. You will be amazed and how there is this huge pall, this huge deception that has come over our country, not only in the abortion issue, but in the whole subject of evolution. He asks a few simple questions to students, people on the street, but most of all, these evolutionary biologists, these professors, and they can't answer these questions. And so it's simple. It's put uh, in a very easy to understand format. I gave you a little bit of summation in your notes. I spent hours with those notes so you could take that home. There is also a link for you to get the whole study guide, which explains further what you're about to see here. Okay? Please, I have 5,000 of these DVDs. I'm not kidding you. 5,000 DVDs upstairs. I have a portion of them on the table. The idea is for you to take these and hand them out to your friends, family, loved ones, neighbors, even people you don't like. Okay? Hand them out freely. It's half an hour long, and it's very entertaining. Okay? So with that, I want to read this first sentence of the Bible to you. Who knows it? Who knows it? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then God made light, water, sky, and ground. And then in Genesis 11, 1, 1, 11 through 12, it says, Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed, according to their kinds. Say that with me, kinds. This is important. And trees bearing fruit with seed in it, according to their. And God saw that it was... And God said, let the water teem with living creatures 
and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky in verses 20 and 21. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it according to their... And every winged bird according to its... Verses 24 to 26. And God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their... The livestock, the creatures that move along the ground and the wild animals, each according to its... And it was so. We're losing enthusiasm here. God made the wild animals according to their... Shout that out for the people sitting in front of their computer screens at home. Kinds. The livestock according to their... And all the creatures that move along the ground according to their... And God saw that it was... Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. You know, for millennia in America, this has stood as the final word in how everything came to be. There's no argument. Oh, there may have been a few people off on the sidelines. It was considered as the truth in any teachings on how we all got here, as well as how the universe was formed. But now, creationism is considered controversial, naive, and mythical. To say that God created everything is too simplistic, and even more so, foolish. To stand up for the truth that God had everything to do with everything from the start is to put you in the far realm of kookiness and you will be marginalized as a religious nut. You all know that, right? The new religion now is evolution. But there's a problem. It's a theory. It used to be known as the theory of evolution. And now, you know, we can also say that's the theory of creationism as well. But we don't have a problem with saying that. Christians know it's the truth, but I have no problem saying the theory of creationism because you can prove a theory or you can't prove a theory. But now, no one uses the word theory anymore to describe the theory of evolution. It's now considered a fact. But is it? Evolution is a fairy tale for growing up, said Professor Louis Bonoir, director of research for the National Center of Scientific Research. This theory has helped nothing in the progress of science. It is useless. Do we have the next quotes? Are they, we have quotes up there, honey? There we go. Dr. Tien Tomizian of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission said, scientists are great con men, and the story they are telling may be the greatest hoax ever. Dr. Kent Hovind, or used to be known as Dr. Dino, had a long-standing offer. He would give $250,000 to anyone who could offer scientific proof for evolution. Guess what? No one ever claimed the prize. 250 grand. Evolution takes greater faith to believe in than to believe that God created everything. Obviously, you have to believe first there's a God. And if you believe God and God is all-powerful, then it's not a big leap to think, oh, he created everything. But evolution, something came out of nothing. Well, they'll call that uh, abiogenesis. But that means they don't know the beginnings. We know the beginnings. But how did we become who we are? Yes, you look a lot like a fish, AJ. And some of you, I know, are monkeys' uncles, right? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. Charles Darwin, the founding father of the faith of evolution, said this, I was a young man with unformed ideas. I threw out queries, suggestions, wondering all the time over everything. And to my astonishment, the ideas took like wildfire. People made a religion of them. Of course... Pro-evolutionists say he never said that, and they try to disprove that he said that. It was made up by creationists, they say. Well, you have to make that determination yourself. So we're going to watch a very compelling video called Evolution versus God. You can watch it on your own online, evolutionversusgod.com. And we will see that evolution is the thing, a fact among college students, college professors, and people on the street. <clears throat> Though you'll see there's no evidence to support it at all, it continues to be taught as fact, even in Johnson City Schools. Even in Johnson City Schools.
So watch this. Come to your own conclusions. And uh, I think you'll be entertained and informed.